Good afternoon and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We're here today with Havoc and Rich and what we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is Havoc's ability to understand and respond to his formal obedience commands. The little tiny corrections and lots of motivation that we give him when we're working with him and the training equipment that we're using. Rich is using a regular six foot web training leash and he keeps the bulk of the leash folded in his right hand. That leaves his left hand free to give any correction that's needed and the only correction that we give is a little tug and release on his training collar. That is the second piece of equipment that we're using and Havoc will come home with his very own training equipment. Now he is sitting very nicely at Rich's left which is where all of our obedience training is done and the first exercise that we're going to demonstrate for you is healing. Healing is proper leash walking and the command is Havoc heal. Ready? At this point, Havoc has a job to do, and that is to maintain pace with you when you're walking. If Rich turns, he turns. If he speeds up or slows down, Havoc should do the same. If he does turns and turns and turns, it's just improving Havoc's healing skills. And when Rich stops his feet, Havoc has been taught to sit automatically without being told and wait for his next command. And he's doing a great job of demonstrating this. He's focused on Rich, he's looking up at him, he's paying attention. And even with me out here with the camera, he's doing good. He's doing a great job. The next command stay. that Rich is going to demonstrate is the sit, stay. Stay is a hand and a voice command and because it is a stationary exercise, you do not use his name. Your homework will be to practice the amount of time that you can leave him and the distance that you can go. When Rich returns back, he walks all the way around him back to heel position where they started and they take off healing again. And this is great mental exercise for Havoc, which is what he's lacking. He can run until tomorrow and not get as tired as an obedience workout. So you can put your video on, use it as a guide when you're training with him at home. Nice sit. Stay. Another stay. And this time, instead of Rich returning to the dog, we will have Havoc return to Rich. And this is the recall, or the come on command, and he comes and sits. He's looking for treats <laughs> in Rich's pockets. And we're not using any treats for this video, just so that you know. And there's nothing wrong with giving your dog a treat every once in a while for doing a good job, but we want them to also work without food. Rich will leave him stay. again in a sit-stay and demonstrate that recall again for us. Have it come. He sits right in front of you. Nice job, buddy. And watch out for that scratching behavior because that's often a distraction. He's trying to distract you or get out of doing what you're asking him to do. So we pretty much ignore that because he's not itchy. <laughs> now the next command that we're going to demonstrate for you and see Rich corrected him out of that. Sit. Down. Down. Stay. Stay. This is your down Stay. command. Down. down. Stay. And this is good because you can see what to do when he's Stay. being hard headed or not doing it for you. You don't give up. You make him Stay. do it because you know he knows it, because you've seen it on the video. Rich calls him out of that down stay. And again, you can practice these exercises right inside your house. You don't always have to go outside just because it's getting colder. You want good house manners and the way you get them is to practice indoors. So we have demonstrated for you his ability to heal, to sit automatically when you stop, to sit and stay, to sit, stay and come and to lay down on command. He has done a great job. If you wanted to start using a crate, he is crate trained now. 
We've enjoyed having Havoc and thank you for choosing Nora's Dog Training Company.